Well, what's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and I've got iOS 9.1 running on my device. Uh, as you can see, nice. <laughs> There's a nice bug right there. Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the performance of iOS 9.1, comparing it to iOS 9 final build. So I've had a lot of reports, people telling me that after installing iOS 9.1, they noticed a huge improvement in performance and all of the lag that came with iOS 9 was gone. So in this video, I wanna see if that's really true. I wanna put it to the test and compare the final version of iOS 9 to iOS 9.1. Now, iOS 9.1 comes with one major change and that is the ability to finally flip people off over text message. So there are new emojis. Actually, there's over 80 new emojis. Oh my goodness, just let me see my emojis. Okay, so there's a middle finger right here and you can even have it in different colors. So it's really cool that there's that. But other than that, Apple did work on some under the cover stability or so I hear. So let's go ahead and test this out on the older devices, the iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S. Put it to the test and see if iOS 9.1 really does end my suffering when it comes to the lag. Even on my six plus I noticed such a lag a stutter when opening up applications something that wasn't there on 8.4.1 so hopefully this firmware does fix it let's go ahead and see all right so on the left is the newly released iOS 9 on the right iOS 9.1 by the way you do not need to be a developer to install it I actually restored to it and had no issues whatsoever so I just wanted to show you guys right here I do have 9.1 on the devices on the right and we're gonna go ahead and perform a few tests so starting with a startup test all right, so off they go, and oh man, I am not looking forward to the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus full iPhone comparison. I'm gonna have 12 iPhones to compare, and it's even difficult on a small scale with a few devices. Can you guys imagine with 12? But uh, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna enjoy it. So anyways, uh, with these guys off, let's go ahead and power them on and see how 9.1 compares in the startup section. So three, two, one. And there they go. So remember, 9.0 is on the left. All right, and here they go. So iOS 9 was the very first to turn on, then 9.1 on the iPhone 5. And that surprised me because I expected 9.1 to be better, but again, it is still in beta. On the iPhone 4S, the same exact thing. iOS 9.1 was just a tad bit faster. Now, the primary difference I've noticed iOS 9.1, where it excels over 9.0, is loading things, especially some animations for the control center. So when I bring both of them up, they're both slow, but iOS 9.1 is less slow on both devices. And it's painfully evident on iOS 9, bringing down the notification center or the control center, it's slow on both of them, but 9.1 just just fixes the animations just a little bit. As you can see, iOS 9 is behind. So animations, I can definitely tell, are a little bit better on 9.1. And in the app switcher as well, sometimes I'll open them up and 9.1 will be a little bit more fluid and faster. All right, so after clearing out my app switcher, I'm gonna go ahead and load some things. Now on my personal device on iOS 9, I've noticed there is a hang time on iOS 9 and I don't see it being improved on the 4S. I've already tried a couple applications and uh, it does launch maybe a couple milliseconds faster. I don't know, there's really, it's hard to tell. It really is. In this case, iOS 9 was faster than 9.1. And the camera loads, just a couple milliseconds faster on 9.1, but otherwise in most areas, I can't really tell the difference. All right, let's try maps. So as soon as I let my finger off of the app, I noticed the 9.1, it, it looks to be a little bit smoother opening it. Let's try iTunes store. All right, so 9.0 is still a little bit faster than 9.1. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on the five. So start off with settings. A little bit faster on 9.1. Try maps. 9.1, just a little bit faster. 9.0. Now this is such a small difference between them. It's barely noticeable. But it looks like on the 5, uh, 9.1 does a little bit better, just a little bit. It's actually bringing up the control center, notification center, where I noticed the biggest difference between them. But anyways, uh, last one. So just about the same. I don't know. Maybe you guys are seeing things. Maybe it's a placebo. I don't really see 
any comprehensive evidence that 9.1 is faster. But let's go ahead and run the Geekbench and see which one is actually the faster one. All right, so I'll let these guys sit and this should give me a better idea of how these compare. All right, so here are the results. From what I'm seeing, iOS 9.1 is marginally better, like a less than a 1% increase. And this is probably subjective. I could run it again. It'll be even different than that. I don't know. But what I'm saying is 9.1 doesn't seem to be in any way faster than 9.0. I mean, animations may feel a little bit faster, but it could be a placebo. So far, I haven't found any evidence to suggest that 9.1 is that much better. Hopefully though, it does get better with time. But at this point in time, I was 9.0 is you know pretty much on par with 9.1. And that means they're pretty much both sluggish. So last test, I'm just going to run the Wi-Fi speed test and uh, see how these all compare. And there's that. So it improved on the iPhone 4S, went down on the 5. All these tests, what they're telling me is this is too inconclusive. I mean, I was 9.1 doesn't in any way seem faster. So the people that are telling me that it is faster, I think you guys are just experiencing a placebo effect. Now that's not to say I'm discouraging Apple from trying to make it faster. Just hopefully they do so when the final version of 9.1 drops in November. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully I cleared up some questions you may have had about iOS 9.1 with this video. It doesn't seem faster yet. It might get faster with time. It's not worth updating to a beta expecting stability. I mean, we all knew that, right? Anyways, have a great day, guys. Enjoy iOS 9. Apple will make it better with time. Peace.